He comes up will start. Thank you. today to thank the Lord for all that he's doing in the hearts and the minds of the people that are here. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And before we get started, we just want to just give God a clap offering. Amen. Come on and just give him a clap offering. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we bless your name, oh God. We honor you on today, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here in honor of Evelyn Smith. Amen. Praise God. We're here to pay tribute to her. We're here at her home going service. Amen. Amen. So we want to celebrate her life yeah. on today. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So that's why we come to give God some praise. Yes. The Bible tells us that everything that have breath, praise ye yeah. the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're here to bless God on today. Amen. Amen. So before we, um, well, while we begin, we're going to have our sister Claire Lee. She's going to come and she's going to render us a solo. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that
was We would like to have our comfort of prayer now by our minister Smith, and then we will be having our Leroy Smith with the Old Testament reading and our 
Deacon Wilson with the New Testament reading. In that order, please. Thank Let's, you. Lenroy. Lenroy. I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Lord, we just thank you and we honor you and we glorify you for this day, oh God. God, as you have your way and your people on today, oh God, we ask that you will comfort the hearts of those who are grieving, oh God. Give them the, your peace, oh God, that's the passive all understanding, oh God. When they're hurting in the midnight hour, oh God, while they're hurting now, oh God, be their peace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Be their shield and buckler, oh God. And we just thank you and we glorify you, oh God, for how you will speak to them, oh God. Let them know who you are, oh God. Shield and protect them, oh God, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, oh God. When they're looking, when they're searching, oh God, let them seek you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we just say thank you, oh God. Thank you for being a God who's faithful, who will take care of his children, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let them look to you and not another, oh God. And we thank you for the love that they have for one another, oh God. Let them continue to call, oh God. Let them continue to stop by and see about one another, oh God. In the name of Jesus, to send kind words, oh God. Just to sit and be in each other's presence, oh God. To allow you to have your way. And God, we just say thank you for the friends, oh God. Thank you for all those who will say a kind word, oh God. Thank you for all who will give a kind gesture, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that you will help the family, oh God. Comfort them in their time of need. And God, we just say thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for who you are in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We're going to ask everyone to please stand except for the family, please. And we're having a New Testament reading by Lynn Roy Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, in my father's stead, I'll be doing the reading. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. This is the New International Version. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Thank you. Scripture reading is Matthew 22, verse 37 to 40. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hung all the law and the prophets. Amen? Amen. Maybe may be seated, please. Thank you. Praise God. Now, at this time, we're going to have a selection by our brother, Edwards. Keep on searching. 
searching until I shall find him. There are somewhere around God's throne. And I went to the church where I used to go. The preacher, he was still there. He met me at the door. He said, I know who you are, and I know who you're looking for. But they, they don't come here anymore. No, they don't. But there are somewhere around the throne of God. Yes, there are somewhere around the throne of God. Now keep searching, keep on searching until I shall find him but there are somewhere yes she is somewhere yes she is somewhere around God's throne hallelujah <coughs> Praise God. We thank God for that wonderful selection by Brother Edwards. At this time, we're going to have Dorney Manasseh. She's going to come with a poem reading. Amen. Death is not, I'm sorry, death is nothing at all. Amen. Death is nothing at all. It does not count. I have only slipped away into the next room. Nothing has happened. Everything remains exactly as it was. I am I, and you are you. And the old life that we lived so fondly together is untouched, unchanged. Whatever we were to each other, that we are still. Call me by the old familiar name. Speak of me in the easy way which you always used. Put no difference into your tone. Wear no forced air, air of solemnness or sorrow. Laugh as we've always laughed at the little jokes that we enjoyed together. Plague, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be ever the household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without an effort, without the ghost of a shadow upon it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is absolute and unbroken continuity. What is this death but a negligible accident? Why should I be out of mind because I am out of sight? I am but waiting for you for an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well. Nothing is hurt, nothing is lost. One brief moment and all will be as it was before. How we shall laugh at the trouble of parting when we meet again. Amen. 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 So we have a few family tributes from family members who could not be here, um, and from friends. So the first is from her nieces in England and in Missouri. Just a few words from Auntie Ethel's nieces in England and Missouri. Dad was really close with Auntie, and we wanted you to know just how much he loved his weekly calls with his sister. Even though we are so many miles away, we all appreciated the Christmas cards every year. Dad was so happy that he got to visit with Auntie and family. This was over 10 years ago, but he always mentioned how much that trip meant to him, just to be able to spend that time with his sister one more time. <coughs> Auntie Ethel was caring, thoughtful, and kind, and she will truly be missed, but knowing that our dad and auntie have been reunited again in heaven leaves us with happy tears. With each passing day, may peace find a place in your heart. Love always, Linda, Wendy, Judy, Mandy, and Mary. The next is Reflections of Aunt Ethel from Cecilia Williams. A gem was called to rest. Only our God knows what is best. I recall the numerous fond memories of my favorite Aunt Ethel. Though several decades have lapsed, 
The joys of those precious moments bring my childhood experience full circle to the full years, to the early years, excuse me, and the times we spent together. Although my favorite place of worship was at another congregation, I would spare no opportunity to visit and attend church just to sit and spend quality time with Aunt Ethel. For one, she was a beautiful woman, for which so many of her peers would often comment on our resemblance. Of course, if she was beautiful, so was I. After all, she was my favorite aunt. After church, she often offered me the most delicious dinners. Those were truly Sunday best. Her beauty was not only outward, but was best expressed from the inside. Aunt Ethlyn was the voice of reason. Even amidst family disagreement, we often relied on her fair words of wisdom. I recall the personal gifts she offered, especially at the end of my weekend visits. I would never forget her spirit of generosity. As the years rolled on, and we set out to fulfill our new roles in life, Aunt Ethlyn always made the effort to stay connected with family happenings. She set special times to catch up with family happenings. She would take time off to call or receive call from her late brother and my dad every Sunday, as if the calls were a religious obligation. They hardly missed a Sunday call. She just wanted to ensure that each family member was safe and secure. Although not as often as the call to her siblings, we often found time to catch up on family occasions and activities. Aunt Ethlyn was indeed a family woman. On behalf of my husband, Sam, and our children, Lennox, Everett, Colleen, Kimberly, and their families, may our prayers of comfort rest on the hearts of Lynette, Lenroy, and Steve, and their families. May the soul of Aunt Bethlehem rest in peace as she awaits the call of the life giver on that great getting up morning. The last is from one of her dearest friends, Esther, in England. Precious memories, how they linger. My dearest friend, Ethlyn, in all my life, I never had another friend like her. We met in Leicester, England in 1959. We each had a room in the same house at Edmonton Street, and it was there that we became best of friends, more than friends, like sisters. Even more than sisters, because she was closer to me than any of my sisters. We went shopping together, we bought the same clothes and the same shoes. When we went out, we dressed the same, same trousers, same shoes. And I would buy material and make her dresses the same as mine. I can see her now in a pleated dress that we both had. She had the red, I had the green. You should see us dressed to kill in our white gloves going to the park. Whoever got home first from work would make dinner for the other. We looked out for each other. Wherever she went, I went, and vice versa. We were just laughing about old times quite recently. Ethlyn could laugh. Mm -hmm. Yes, she could. <laughs> we laughed about everything. When we spoke in January, we were laughing so hard at our memories that I had to move the phone from my ear because she was laughing so loud. <laughs> it was Ethlyn who encouraged me to marry my husband, Carl. He came to England and we got married the next year, and she was right beside me at the church. I remember we went to the cinema to watch The Fly. That was a long time ago. <laughs> and we took Steve, who was a little boy of about three years old. He pinched the English woman sitting in front of us. We laughed so much. When the sound of music came out, the two of us went to see that too. We had so many good times together. Ethlyn loved Jim Reeves. She told me recently that he was her favorite singer, same as me. And we both played his songs. I'm so grateful that I was able to see and speak to her a few days before she passed. I love you very much, she whispered. I love you very much too, I told her. Ethelyn was my friend. She was a good person, a nice person. I understood her and she understood me. She wasn't afraid of anyone. We could always have a good chat and a good laugh. I never met anyone like her, never had another friend like her. I will miss her voice. Rest in peace, my dear friend. You were precious to me. And my memories of you are so very precious. From Esther Ferreira. So very beautiful. Yes. We just need to give God a clap. Praise God. Amen. So this time we're going to have the obituary reading by Shaniqua, Sister Shaniqua McNeil. Followed by Shaniqua, we'll be having a, another solo by Sister Claire Lee.
Kathleen Ethelyn Thomas Smith was born on March 30, 1992, to Rachel, Mimi, and Jeremiah Thomas in Green Hill, Liberita, Antigua. The fourth of five children, Clemens, Dolores, Renford, Curl, all deceased. She was always inquisitive, compassionate, kind, and smart. Her passion was math, and her goal was to become a math teacher. But her mentor was an older man, and there, and these were the 1940s. Due to her parents' concern about the appropriateness of an unmarried, proper young lady spending so much time in the company of a man who wasn't her husband, that dream was deferred. In 1952, she married Leonard Timer Smith. Although the marriage ultimately ended, together they created their three greatest joys. Lenroy, Lennon, and Lexroy Steve. Soon thereafter, Ethelin and Timer moved to England to begin forging their future abroad. It was there she met Esther Pereira, who would become her best friend and chosen sister. After a bit, a decision was made to move to the U.S., which was to become her ultimate destination. The family reunited and created a home in the Bronx. She found employment at Memorial Sloan Kettering as a lab technician, where she set about being excellent at her job and creating lasting friendships. Ethelin and the kids eventually moved up to Fenton Avenue in the Bronx, which remained her residence until her passing. Ethelin left MSK and joined the dietary department at Our Lady of Mercy, Montefiore, where she served until her retirement in March 30th of 1998. After retirement, Ethelin pursued her hobbies of bingo and watching soap operas with a vengeance. <laughs> she absolutely loved the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. If you came upon a conversation about the char about, with her about the characters, you believe she was discussing these things happening to real people. I know that to be true. <laughs> She shared time, she shared time, friendship, and her delicious cooking with her friends at the Rain Boston E Senior Center, where she visited twice weekly until she became less mobile. She kept in touch frequently with family via phone, whether it was her weekly calls to Esther in England or her check-in with her goddaughter Dorn. And Dorney or and youngest on the youngest of the, her grands, Alexa, Caden, and always she ended her calls with "I love you." More than anything else in the world, she loved her family. She was the biggest cheerleader. She encouraged us to strive for all we could be. Made sure we knew how great we were and how much she loved us. Until the end, she was a recipient of and surrounded by our love. The legacy she created remains in her children, Linroy, Lennon, Mitch, and Lexroy, Barbara, grandchildren, Shamika, Nicole, Alexis, Christopher, and Shanice, great-grandchildren, Shania, Jade, Jada, sorry, and Kiara, goddaughter, Dorney, and her, grand, and her children, Alexa and Caden, nieces and nephews, Ira, McNeil, Raja, Cecilia, Jean, Eustace, Latif, Linda, Wendy, Judy, and Mandy. Her chosen sister, Esther Pereira, and numerous family and friends who love and will miss her. There is a quote that says, so long as they speak your name, you will never die. Gathlin, mom, grandma, Gotti, your name will continue to be spoken for generations. We love you and celebrate your life. Be at peace and on your journey, and on your journey to your next adventure.
wonder, consider all the works thy hands had made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. Then since my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, how great Thou art, how great know that he does all things well. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for the life again of Ethan Smith. Amen. Amen. We thank God for she lived 89 years. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Beautiful. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. 89 years. Glory to God. She's been here for a long time, and I know that she's brought out much wisdom, much intellect, friends and family, a beautiful daughter, praise God, Amen. Sister Edwards, God bless you. Amen. To all the family members, God bless you all, praise God. God is an awesome, mighty, mighty God. I want you to know that believers are not of this world. Amen. Sometimes we think that we are, but we're really not. Praise God. In the book of Philippians chapter 3, starting with the 20th verse, it says, But our common wealth is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly bodies to be like his glorious body by the power which enables him even to subject all things to himself. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
when we look at this verse, and both verses is actually 20 and 21, we need to know that our vile bodies will be transformed. They will be fashioned according to the pattern of the glorious resurrection Amen. body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This body that we're living in right now is just a house. Praise Amen. God. It is a temple. Amen. Amen. It is a place for our soul to reside in. The true who we are. Amen. Amen. Our soul is what is important in yes. this day and time. Amen. When I speak to you and tell you that believers are not of this world, we tend to think that we belong here and we're going to stay here always. We're not going to stay here always. God has a place to take us. Amen. Praise God. According to the way we live our life in the earth realm. Praise God. So God is looking for his people to be able to live a life of righteousness. A life of holiness. Praise God. And as we heard about Miss Smith on today, Ethlyn, amen, on today, praise God. As we heard the stories about her, people gave wonderful words of expressions about her life. And if we take a look at Sister Edwards, Sister Edwards mean business, so I know her mother meant mean business as well. Amen? Praise God. I didn't have the opportunity to meet um, Sister, um, Sister Smith, praise God. But I thank God for her life. Amen? Her life brought all of us here on today to be able to give her a great homegoing service. Amen? Hallelujah. So we thank God that she was able to live here in this world. But now she had to give up the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, that I'm sorry, she had to give up her spirit, praise God. And that spirit has to go somewhere. Amen. So we're taught that the spirit goes either to heaven or to hell. Amen. We need to know that we have a spirit man deep down on the inside of our body, of our house, of our temple, praise God. And that spirit has to go somewhere when we close our eyes and never to open them again. But our spirit is alive on today, amen? That's how we have our move, amen? That's how we have our being, amen? That's how we're able to do things in this world that God had created by himself, amen? Praise God. So we thank God that we're able to have a place that we can house ourselves. Yes. Praise God. We thank God that we have a place that we can live in this world for, for as long as God would allow us to stay here. Yes. Amen. But he is looking for us to do something with this body. Yes. Praise God. Because this body is not of this world. Amen. Yes. We have, it's going to go away. It's going to dry up. It's going to turn to dust. Praise God. But this spirit inside has to have somewhere to go. Amen. Hallelujah. God is the one that will change this body. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's able to change this body and make it to be whatever it is. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's going to give us a glorious body. Amen. Glory to God. He's going to fashion our body. Amen. Praise God. He's going to give us a body that has no more pain, Amen. no more suffering, Amen. no more tribulation, Amen. no more hate, Amen. no more confusion, praise God. He's given us a new body, amen, that will exemplify who he is, amen. praise God. So we have to give God some glory amen. for that. As we present our bodies to be transformed into the body that will last forever and ever and ever and ever, amen. amen. Hallelujah. He's going to put on mortality on us. Yes. Amen. He's going to take this body away, this body away from us. But he's going to give us a new body. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. And we have to really give God some glory for it. Yes. On today, the Father do not want you to fear. Amen. Yes. For the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 41, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Yes. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. We need to know that our God is our God. Yeah. We need to know that he did not give us the spirit of fear. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to know that our God has created us wonderfully and marvelously in his image. Praise God. As he did. Hallelujah. With Sister Smith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to give God some glory for the life that she lived in the earth. Realm. Begin to see her sometime on Zoom because that was my last time seeing her, which was about a few weeks ago. Praise God. I seen her there and she was attentively listening and wanted to be in the service. It was a blessing to see her there. Amen. So we need to know that God gave her her wonderful life. A life to pour out for you, you, 
and you. He gave her this life to be an example, to exemplify Christ-like behavior. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard somebody was sitting in there going to church with her. Wanted to meet her in her church. Amen. Which is a wonderful thing. It's a good place to be in the house of the Lord. So God don't want us to fear. He don't want us to be dismayed. He wants you to know that he is your God. He is your Elohim. Amen. He is your Jehovah Jireh. He is your Lord provider. He is your God that will heal you. He is the God that will give you peace. That surpass all understanding. He is your God that will gird you up. He is the God that will dispatch angels all around about you. He is the God that will keep demons away from you. Even thoughts away from you. He is your God. Hallelujah. And God wants us to serve him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for holiness from his people. Amen. Not to pretend that you're holy. Not to pretend that you're godly. But he's looking for holiness. Holiness so that when we leave this earthly body. We know for sure, for sure, that we're going to make it in. Yes. We know for sure, for sure, that we're going to make it in. He's going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter in. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you some rest for your soul. Glory to God. That's what we want. Amen. That's what every believer should be looking for. Praise God. We need to understand that believers are not of this world. Amen. We are supposed to be planning to meet our Savior. Yes. We are supposed to be planning to know that when I leave this earthly realm, I'm going to meet God. I look yes. forward to meeting him. So we need to start planning and set up our riches in heaven. Amen. Yes. The streets that's paved with gold. Yes. Praise God. Where there is no sickness. Yes. Where there is no doubt. Yes. Where faith is because God is faith. Where love is because God is love. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. God wants to do some new things. In this family on today, amen. He wants to turn some things around just for you. Praise God. We don't might not understand everything that he's doing. We might not know everything that's going on. But I want you to know, believers are not gonna always be here. We're gonna be separated from you, from each other, but we'll never be separated from God. Ever be separated from God. Hallelujah. It's gonna be a glorious day. To be able to meet him and see him yes. face to face. Yes. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. I give God glory yes. and honor yes. to be able to meet him. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, so he says for us not to just be dismayed. He lets us know that he's our God. He says I will strengthen you and help you. Yes. And his strength is like no other. Yes. No other strength that you will ever know in life. When you lean and depend on him, yes. praise God, he will give you help. He said, I will uphold you with my right righteousness, with my right hand. Yes. We've got to know that God is upholding all of us right now. Yes. Sister Lynette Edwards, he's upholding you. Yes. He loves you with an everlasting love. He has brought you and given you such a spirit of peace that's resting on you right now. And the entire Smith family, we thank God for your life. And we thank God for how he's upholding all of you and how he's keeping you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is another scripture that says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, it says, for I am confident that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither presence nor future nor power nor um, height nor depth or any anything anything it says anything else nothing absolutely nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus hallelujah glory to God we thank the Lord for the life of Eflin Smith. Amen. We thank the Lord for what he's did in these 89 years. Yes. Praise God. She has a birthday that's going to be coming on March 25th. And God going to have some great memories for you. Amen. Just to play back in your spirit, man. Yes. And to look over and review in your hearts. Glory to God. And you're never going to forget. It's going to always be wonderful memories. Amen. Hold on to your wonderful memories. Yes. Hold on to each other. 
Love each other. Keep each other in mind all the time. Hallelujah. Give God glory for the lives of your family and your friends. Don't let nothing separate you from them. Don't let anger, don't let confusion, don't let doubt, don't let anything waver you from your family members. Amen. Because God wants to keep you. And he's keeping you well. Glory to God. So let's give God a good praise. Let's thank you for what he's doing. Hallelujah. with you and that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Keep your house clean. Yes. This is your house, yes. your temple. God expects it to be clean. Amen. He expects it to be righteous. Amen. He expects you to speak good language out your mouth. Yes. He expects you to put good things inside of your body. Amen. Amen. He expects you to walk in holiness. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Of you, he has for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. That you don't turn to the left nor to the right, but you walk in holiness, yeah. pure holiness. Yeah. Some may find it to be difficult, but I tell you, when you get the Savior, yeah. when you get to know who He is for yourself, yeah. and you surrender all unto Him and say, Father, forgive me yeah. for my sins. Yeah. Lord, come into my heart and save my soul. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. He will do it if you mean it. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's just not lip service. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's heart service. Yeah. Praise God. And he wants us to have a heart for him. Yeah. A heart to want to love him. Yeah. A heart to want to please him. Yeah. A heart that, that will do anything for him. Amen. Praise God. So make sure you check yourselves. Yeah. Check yeah. out your temple. Mm -hmm. Check out your house. Yeah. Because our earthly houses that we have... This is an earthly house. We make sure it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We make sure it looks good. We put on fancy clothes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We put on beautiful shoes. Yeah. We put on makeup. And we make sure it looks good. But what about the spirit man? Amen. How is your spirit man? Yeah. Is your spirit man clean? Yeah. Or is it just made up and covered up? Yeah. God wants to make sure the spirit man is clean. Yeah. He want to make sure that you're blood washed on today. Yeah. He want to make sure that you can make enter in and he says come in my good and faithful servant he want to make sure that you're not backbiting you're not treating your neighbor wrong he want to make sure if you got to art with your brother or your sister that you get it right on today that's what he want to make sure of that's making sure the inner man is doing something right amen so as we cover up the outward man as good as we look on the outside Amen. As good as you think you may look on the outside, Amen. as good as I may think I look on the outside, Amen. we want to make sure the inside yes. looks good for God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We want to make sure it looks good for God. And I want you all to know you look mighty good on today. Amen. But I pray that your spirit man looks yes. just as better. Amen. Much as better, rather. Amen. Much better. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We know that our sister, Sister Smith, Look good on the outside. Because she's a pretty woman. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for her life. Yes. We thank God for your life. Amen. And we praise God on today. Yes. That those of you that are not saved. That you will consider to give your life to Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And all you have to do is say, God, here I am. Yes. That's it. I know a lot of times we want to make up a whole bunch of fancy words. But when you go to God and say, here I am, God. Yes. I want to belong to you on today. He will accept you and he will receive you. Praise God. Here I am, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here I am, God. Hallelujah. And I'm so sure your mother said, Here I am, God. Here I am, God. Hallelujah. Such a blessed way to go. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a clap for Come on and bless his name. that devil yeah, that I like to get into the ear gates yeah. and make you think that you can do things that don't please God to make uh -huh. you think that you can go astray and you're going to be okay you know because he whispers into the ear gate yeah. amen 
I want you to know, every time he whispered in that ear gate, you got to tell him he's a liar. Yes. And you need to say, God, here I am. Yes. God, here I am. Here I am. Yes. Amen. Because the enemy comes to tempt and try. Yes. Hallelujah. And he's the one that can keep our soul from making it in Amen. if you let him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Can I get some voices and say, here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Praise God. God bless you. Hallelujah. And may God continue to keep you. Praise God. And Sister Edwards, we love you. We love you so much. Praise God. And we love your family. Praise God. To the family, we love you all. Praise God. Thank you. Amen. And at this time, we're going to put it back into the hands of the funeral director. Amen. Is she around? Yes. The funeral? Um, oh. Some people like to say something. Yes. Sorry for not following the format in the program, but I know I have to say a few words about my mom because I know she'll get mad and I want her to go rest the smile on the <laughs> Standing in front of you today and all the things that have happened in our family recently, it reminds me of a song my grandmother used to sing, Why Worry When You Can Pray. Yeah. Yeah. These are the things we got to so my sister and I, we came to the United States in 1967, October 15th, from the beautiful island of Antigua, and when we got here, it was a culture shock. Yes. Living in the South Bronx, wow. But we went through some rough times. My mom found a way to raise her three children. I mean, the months when she had to pay the rent, she looked at us and said, hey, I don't have money for food, so I'm going to be creative. We ate a lot of oxtail and rice and sardine and rice. I know the young generation is sitting out there probably saying, what do you mean you went through a hard time since you were able to eat oxtail? Back in those days, oxtail was 49 cents a pound. And we didn't have as many Jamaicans as we have now. That's why the price is I want to say, mom was very, very protective of her family. She yes, was a she fighter. Was. There was an incident where the first time I consumed alcohol was my brother's graduation from the sixth grade. My girlfriend came staggering across the street and said, Miss Smith, Miss Smith, someone spat at your daughter, Lynette. My mom was sitting on the floor in her girdle and her bra. I staggered to the window and I looked, and when I saw a red-skinned lady running across the street in her, in her bra and her girdle, and she was like, stop, stop, stop. She went through the traffic and went after the kid. I looked, and there was a 20-foot fence. I saw the guy climbing the fence. She was trying to climb behind him, but thank God for small toes. She couldn't get her toes because I'm pretty sure she would have been incarcerated that day. That's my mom. She was also very committed. I remember she babysat for her goddaughter, allowing her mom to go to school. She ended up finishing nursing school and was able to reach a pinnacle of the nursing profession. Mom, we're going to miss you. But most importantly, we're going to miss your fried dumplings. <laughs> and any of you who has consumed those dumplings know exactly what I'm talking about. Rest in peace. No more suffering. No more pain. May God bless your soul and rest in peace. Thank you. I just want to say a few words to my mother. I love you. 
I'm going to miss my exercise walking to your house to look after you. Like my brother said, you look after us because anyone that bothered us, you're going to chase them and you're going to do something to them. I'm witness to that. That's why I don't tell you things when things happen to me. You know? But all in all, you was a good woman. And I'm not going to miss your voice because I sound just like you. Yeah. <laughs> always with me. And I love you. And I just want to say to everyone, thank you for coming. But her youngest son, Steve Lexroy, passed away today. <laughs> The songwriter, the words from the hymn writer, one peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like seas billows roll. On behalf of the family and the McCall's Bronxwood Funeral Home, I stand with you to give closing remarks, to be a part of this ser service, this celebration of life. The evening, the two hours went by so fast. Um, no order of importance. I just don't want to forget. I don't want to get in trouble either. So please, I need some of the men to take all the chairs back where you got them from. Okay? Thank you. We are most appreciative to Mrs. Thomas Smith for almost 90 years on the eve of a 90th birthday, she left. But she left beautiful memories, a collage of memories. Thank you to her son for giving me the history of these oxtails. <laughs> Thank you. We're grateful to our clergy for sharing in power and in love. We have a full house, we have standing room, we have folks in the other chapel, they're able to view the monitor. Thank you. And yes, I am mindful of the hearts that are heavy. When I knew I was coming here, which I knew for a few days, Today, after I cooked my meal, I put my composition notebook in my knapsack, and I put a funeral program. I figure if I have any idle moments, I can read the program, look at the pictures. I didn't do that, but I was able to share with someone. And that's what I just want to make a reference to, that funeral program the passing of her son, Lex Roy. Is Barbara here? Okay. How many children does Lex Roy have? Two. Two, okay. God bless you, God bless you. It's hard. Some of us don't have masks on and I'm one of them. I'm testing the waters, trusting my God. 
you know, for 35 years, a man from Galilee, so I'm just trusting God um, that COVID, the pandemic, it's going to be in the history books and it's not in front of us. But I want to say to her daughter, which I didn't know was the nearest and dearest when I first arrived this afternoon, and to the family, to Barbara, Mrs. Thomas' son, the entire family, the friends. We need an anchor. We need God. We need strength from on high. We need one another. I'm on the side of eight months and a few days for my only begotten daughter when she died at 39 years of age. But what I want to say, not so much her passing, when I was coming back from the cemetery, my aunt passed away, my mom's sister. And I just knew how crushing that was to the human spirit. So crushing. It was crushing for me because I knew the work I had and I knew the condition of my heart. But eight months and a few days later, I have the strength to talk about it. And I don't care if I'm rehearsing with families. I don't care because I'm encouraging. So I just wanna leave that with you. Stand strong, stand courageous. It hurts like hell, yes. But we learn to trust in God. And we learn no matter what, we're anchored, our anchor will be secure. Thank you all so kindly for coming to share this day with the family. We're going to have the party view in a few minutes. For tomorrow, I'm, I'm believing the time to be 9.30 a.m. The family will gather here for our last view. Then we'll travel to Kensico Cemetery. Okay, Eli will be with you tomorrow. Okay, my prayers are with you for your brother, your husband, your father, your uncle, your friend. But we gotta get through this day for the son and daughter. We're gonna have the parting view. We have a lot of folks that are standing. We want you to come first. Um, want you to come first. Did you do the benediction? No. Okay. okay. I, I can probably do it. But search my database in my head. Um, we're going to have the parting view. Please keep your seats until we come to you. And then you can, you can exit the room. You want to view those who are standing. We want those to come from the overflow room. And then we want to start with the rear to come up. Okay? You have something you want to share? Okay. Thank you and God bless. Okay. The family is inviting you to a repast right after the service. Um, it will be at 3003 East Chester Road in the back on AD. So please come offer support to the family. We'd love to be able to see you and say hello. And hopefully looking forward to seeing you. Praise God. Let us all stand, please. Most gracious, holy God, we thank you and we bless your name, O oh God. Thank you for this wonderful home-going service, Father. Lord, we ask that you keep every family member covered with your precious blood, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father God, as they go their rest of their way, as they go to the repast, as well as the burial, O oh God. Father, we ask that you continue to be with them, that you continue to cover them in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord keep you and watch over you and bless you forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I guess um, as it was instructed for those that stand in to come first and those that are in the back, then you can be directed by some of the deacons in the back if possible. Yeah, we're not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye